We're under a tornado watch right now. We're supposed to have golf ball sized hail, they said. Just in there, move that plant. Look at that water coming off the roof. Look at the hail, guys. Look at my driveway. It's like a river going downhill. All that water. I love a good thunderstorm, but I just hope we don't lose any trees. Oh my god, now look at my backyard. I got a lake out here. Wow. That is a lot of rain in a little while. I've got no tornado yet. Lots is coming down the drive. Right on the front of the uh, flower bed. Look at that. Hey, you can go swimming this afternoon. You want to? Oh my god, look where our fire pit is like surrounded by water over there. Like a lake. And there's Ripley and there's Quigley. Remember Quigley, guys? To repair the bonds between our police. So that little storm lasted about an hour. And now the sun's out again. Look at all the leaves on my porch. I had to move this underneath here so that it wouldn't get knocked down. I'm surprised my impatience didn't get all battered. Look at my driveway, covered with leaves. And it's still kind of like a little sun shower. But the sun's coming out and the clouds are kind of lightening up a little bit. Check out my little garden here. Oh, that's looking good. Hi guys, I just figured I'd do a little get ready with me today and I just washed my face and this is it. This is my morning hair, everything. So I just washed my face and I'm going to use a little bit of this Alba Botanicals Acne Dote and it's an astringent 
and I'm just going to take it and sweep it over my skin. Um, it does like sting a little bit, but I think that it's really helping my skin. It's um, My skin is clearing up. I've been doing a lot of research. After I watched, um, not Uppies Beads, um, I'll put her name down below. Oh my god, isn't this awful? Everybody watches her too. Um, she did a video on a skin condition called I started looking it up, researching it, and you know, I, the more I read about it, the more I think I have it. Because I get these little bumps around my nose and around my mouth, and I'll link her video down below. And every, the way she described it, and then when I did my research on it, it sounds like exactly what I have. And I guess there's a lot of other people that get it too, and it's um, supposedly caused by a lot of different things, but one of them is sodium laurel sulfate, which is in a lot of our, um, you know, facial stuff and cosmetics and stuff like that. So I went through everything that I own and anything with that, I'm not using it. And one of the good things they said is acne doubt um, to use as a astringent. So I figured that'll be my toner. And I switched over to, um, hold on, I'll get it. The Pure Castile Soap. This happens to be the lavender one. Um, Dr. Bonner has one um, that you can get at the health food store or, I don't know, maybe even in your supermarket, depending on where you shop. But um, this is all made with all natural oils. And I was reading about this, and one of the things that make people break out is um, these things called mycodex mites that live in your pores in the like hair follicles and supposedly everybody has them and it causes acne because when they shed their little exoskeletons um, you know it clogs up your pores and supposedly Castile soap is the only thing that will kill them so I've been using it now like maybe like four days this is like my fourth day and my face is like clear and I'm really happy with the way it looks. Um, so yeah, I'm just using that acne don't. Just go over my whole face with it. Let me plug my straight iron. Okay, so, so it was weird because my husband said to me the other day, I'm wearing much makeup because it's summertime and everything. And I was having problems with this stuff around my nose and around my mouth. So when I put on makeup, it would just like cake into it. So I just said, the heck with it. And my husband was sitting there looking at me across the table one day. And he said, he says, I hope I don't make you mad. He says, by saying this, he says, but you look a lot better without makeup than you do with makeup on. And he thought it was going to make me mad. And I said, really? I said, that really makes me feel good. I says, because... I says, I know that, you know, makeup isn't looking good on me lately because of my skin. He goes, no. He says, you actually, your skin actually looks better without the makeup on. And, I mean, we all have little, like, you know, spots and imperfections. And, like, right now I'm healing right now from a, um, a pimple. Then I have a broken capillary here that's always there. And, you know, spider veins and some, you know, brown, um, what do you call it, pigmentation under my eyes and stuff like that. But it seems like the more makeup I put on, the worse it looks. So, all right, that's all I put on is the acne doubt, and then I'm going to use some of this um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin, it's called. Eye Perfector, Brightening Eye Perfector. So I'm going to take some of this, and I'm just going to roll it up a little bit and just dab it around my eyes under here and up in there um, this stuff is nice because it doesn't settle in the creases at all and you just kind of dot it in and I I bring it down on the sides of my nose too 
and I use it kind of like as a base over over my eye. But I really I like the way this goes on. So you know it's funny. It's like I've never met you guys before, but after reading like all of your comments and stuff like that, and for so long I've known some of you. And I just feel like like we're all sisters and like I can sit here comfortable without um, makeup on and not, you know what I mean, not have to worry about anything. I just feel like, you know, I mean, we've all, those of us that have made videos and, you know, get ready with me, so I've seen each other without makeup on. So it's kind of, it's funny. But, um, all right, so then I'm just going to go right down my nose with the same eye stuff. And... And then you can do like another coat under here, like layer it if you need a little bit more coverage. And just kind of pat. And yeah, that's all I'm doing these days. I'm not really fussing over my face. And that's it. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of um, this Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm just going to sweep some, you know, just to set my makeup and that's it. And I know I'm doing this backwards, but I don't care. Then I'm just going to take my Hula bronzer, and I'm almost down to pan. I have a brand new one in my little drawer here. And I'm just going to go in here. Some of this, I bought this Wet n Wild. Um, it's called Color Con. I'm sorry, I, I can't even tell you the color of it, but it's this really light, light, light baby pink almost. And I'm just gonna put some of that on. outline my lips with this Rimmel. I'll put everything down below because without my glasses I can't see a thing. And then I'm just going to stick on a little bit of eyeliner in brown and this is um, Rimmel Exaggerate. And just on the outer section and just make like a little wing you know it's weird sometimes you can put it on and then if you just go like that and flick it up it just comes out perfect it comes out better than if you tried to draw it like that it's weird And then I'm just going to go underneath on the waterline. Okay, and then this one. I was just talking to Nicole and Alex on FaceTime, and he's going to be three. I can't believe it. He's going to be three years old this September 
Time has just flown by so fast. Unbelievable. Um, he was so cute. He always wants to see the dogs when he sees me. Alright, guys, this one here, this roller lash, I am liking much better than the better, and, better Than Sex mascara that I bought. I do not like that Better Than Sex at all. It's just, I don't know what it is, it just goes on wet and clumpy on me, so I'm not crazy about it. So I'm just going to curl my eyelashes quick. I don't spend that much time on my eyelashes because they don't, I mean, they're not what they used to be, believe me. They, um, they're skimpy and short and so I just put a little coating on them with this and it's just, it's just enough. But I am so glad that I finally realized, I mean, you know, when you love makeup, how, especially when you get caught up in, in YouTube and the makeup community and stuff like that, and you want everything you see, and it's, it gets crazy, and it's like, you can start going overboard, like, sometimes watching the younger people put it on because they have you know their skin is like they don't have any wrinkles and stuff but then when you get our age it's like you know these these wrinkles start setting in the creepiness and everything and the makeup doesn't look the same and it just accentuates it so less is really more and I'm finding that I like my my skin is behaving better too and this is um, Physician's Formula uh, Plump Potion, it's called. And it's like a clear pink. And it just, you put it on and it just makes your skin, it makes your lips start to tingle after a while. And it, I don't know if it plumps them out, but I just like the way it looks. Um, a little bit of this flesh tone on my waterline. And then I'm just going to take my Naked 2 and just put on a little bit of this one here next to the black in here. And I don't, I never use a primer. Maybe it would look better if I did, but I just don't, I don't bother with a primer. Okay, then I'm just going to take a this little elf brush and I'm just going to dab it in the black here and this is kind of like a muted gray black it's not like a black black and I'm just going to go like this like a V and just go over the brown that I already put there just very lightly And then just blend it again with the, the fluffy brush. Okay. And now I'm just going to take this Mary Luminizer and put a little bit on the tip of my nose. 
a little bit going down the middle. Um, right there. A little bit up here. And that's it. And um, I'm actually letting my bangs grow out. Um, I find it much, much easier than messing with the bangs. And I do have like a high widow's peak. See? On the sides. But you know what? I'm just going to go with it. I don't even care. You know whose hair I love is Nicole Tonell. T-O-N-N-E-L-L. Um, check out her channel. She's a blonde. She lives in France. And she's, I love her hair. It's just like a short, um, well, like, it's about this length here. Bob. And she let her bangs grow out. And I just think she, it just looks so classic and so Grace Kelly looking. And she just, I don't know, she's just such a pretty woman anyway. Um, she speaks French. I don't know a thing that she's saying. Um, but, you know, whether, rather than mess with my bangs all summer and, like, just even, like, putting hairspray on them and crap like that, I'm just done with it. You know what I mean? I am just so done with it. Um, so I just thought, I'm just going to let them grow, you know, and just... It'd be so much easier and just I won't have to use as much product on my hair and I don't know I just like it so much better without using all that crap what's going on here I'm just going to take some of this Callista tools just rub this together. You guys have seen me do this. Oh, Susan W. was saying Callista Tools is supposed to be having a special soon, so I'm going to have to watch for that. And Vivian, if I see it, let me know if you need any more. You just kind of go up under your hair and just give you that messy, piecey look. There. You know, kind of like you didn't try, and I didn't. Um, let me just go wash my hands and I'll be right back. Okay. Push this back a little bit. Um, yeah, so anyways, um, yeah, I've just been doing kind of less is more, um, as far as my skin goes, I just don't put on any foundation, I just put on the minimum, like, around my eyes, you know, for concealer, and, like, dot any spots on my face, like, any broken capillaries or anything like that, dot them and just blend them, and, you know, put on your blush and your hula bronzer and you're good to go. And it's just easier. So much easier. And your skin looks so much better. Like, you know how, like, if you put on a foundation and then, like, a lot of concealer and especially with the Maybelline Eraser Concealer, by the end of the day, you can have, like, lines. It settles in the lines under your eyes, around your nose, around the corners of your mouth. And you can just look nasty. Um... You know, when you get into, when you get up close to a mirror and you're like, oh my god. So, I'm just not even going to, I'm not even using my Maybelline concealer anymore. I'm just, I'm kind of breaking out of my little box because, like, if you, when you use the same thing, like, for, you know, year after year after year, and sometimes, you, you know, your skin changes and it just doesn't work for you anymore. So, you have to change with the times and... That's what I'm doing. Also, I pulled off, uh, I had bought some um, of those 
what are they, Sally Hansen? You know, the little press-on nails in like the oval uh, French manicure, and they were the, like the short ones, but kind of like pointy. And I put them on, and then like after a few days, I painted them pink, and then they started popping off, so then I just peeled them off. And when I peeled them off, I swear like a bunch of layers of my own nails came off. So I buffed them a little bit and, you know, with that gritty buffer to get all the glue off. And then I just threw on some clear Sally Hansen um, nail hardener. And it's like that pink stuff. And so I'm just going to let them be for a while. So nothing fancy, just, you know, my hair and my just summer face um, yep and that's about it I just wanted to come on and show you this just simple summer look I'm, I'm, I'm going light lately guys I'm going like natural for the summer I'm just gonna just be me and I don't care I don't go anywhere I don't have the kind of lifestyle where I you know, lunch with the ladies and stuff like that. I mean, I am out in the middle of the woods here. I, I do go out with my friends for lunch and stuff, but I mean, we go shopping and nothing fancy, so I don't, I don't need a lot of makeup. Um, you know, if I was having my picture taken and going to weddings and stuff like that, yeah. But, you know, just for my casual lifestyle, I'm not going to go overboard. Um, plus, my skin behaves better. And... Yeah, so if you're having problems with your skin, try this Castile. What I do is I take like, maybe like three or four drops, put it in the palm of my hand on wet hands, go like this, build up a foam, wash your face with it, and make sure you wash it off really good and don't get it in your eyes. And just keep splashing until you have it all off. And I'll tell you, my skin is behaving better than it has with the... Um, Purity Made Simple. And the funny thing is I just bought a big, huge 32 ounce jug on um, QVC because they had the special where if you buy that, you get the mask to go with it. So yeah, I just spent like 60 bucks for, for those two to get them together and then plus shipping and stuff. So now I have that big jug and I'll probably go back to it again, but um, it does have that sodium lauryl sulfate in it. So I'm going to try to really stay away from that stuff and see if this goes away. I'll put everything down below. And, um, yeah, this is the Equate brand instead of the Dr. Bonner. So if you want to save some money, it's the same thing. It smells wonderful. It's got that lavender smell. And my face is looking really clear, and it hasn't looked this way for a long time. I always had those, like, little bubbles. Then they would dry, and then they would crust. And it was just like a ongoing thing around my nose and around my mouth. And I hated it. So it's finally, this is, I don't know if this is the, the key, no makeup and, and just use natural things on my face without sodium lauryl sulfate. I'll let you know, I'll give you an update and let you know. So I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you again soon guys. Bye, love you all.